Hello friends, welcome back to our third week. So it's a warm welcome to everyone. Uh, thank you for making it this far. So we've been working together for a fortnight now. We covered Chinese, uh, most popular words in Chinese. We did uh, Chinese for Spanish speakers. And this week we're dedicating the week for Chinese uh, for the English speakers. All right, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, just quickly, um, what we will do today is based on the book that we sent to the group. So if you haven't received a copy of that book, please uh, go ahead and text me and I will be sure to send you a copy of that book. All right. Um, if you want to look up the book for yourself, we can just give you the title and then you can uh, look it up for yourself. Right. But what we're going to do is based on that book. So um, the idea of this third week is that we look at some of the words, some of the phrases that will give you that push that urge that quick speed all right uh, so that you can quickly construct sentences that make sense and have it uh, and be able to hold meaningful dialogues right that's what we want to do today and along with that we also are concerned about our spanish friends so we will put a, another column just for the spanish speakers so that they can follow along good and then we're also concerned about those of us who are a little more advanced and want something a little bit more challenging, all right? So once you get a copy of that book, don't read it from front to back, all right? Read it from back to front, all right? Because the book kind of uh, goes on a gradient steep. Uh, the more you read, uh, the further you go, the difficult it becomes. But there are always other words that they throw in there. Some of them are actually new to me. Actually, several words are new to me in that book. So it's a very useful book, a lot of phrases in there that you can also use. And um, if you don't want to use them, you can still bank them in your vocabulary or web bank, if you want to call it that. OK, so enough talking. Let's skip on to our first slide. All right. That's what we're going to do straight away. So these are the post, uh, most popular useful Chinese phrases, right? And some of them we've met before and some of them we've typed on in our last dialogue. So. Whenever there is more, we will refer you to a page in that book and you can go and look out for yourself, right? So we'll start with the Chinese one. We'll put in the pinyin in the beginning because some of us are not really using the characters. And if you are keen on characters, we will also include the characters, right? That's all in the first column. But that's not all. We'll also try and put in some other than the pinyin, a little bit of how it kind of sounds it's not really perfect but it's close so if you don't want to read the uh, opinion you can actually go with the uh, little sort of english in the brackets that will put them in parentheses <laughs> i don't call them brackets but i know uh, some prefer calling them parentheses all right uh, that's what in the middle there and then we'll also give you some references in the in the books so that you can go and drill in and get some more right so let's dive in the first one uh, of course is ni hao since hello uh remember this is a wish that things go well to another person so it's not really like a formal 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 kind of beauty but it's a popular wish like uh, you good uh things be good with you all right so ni hao ni hao all right and that's hola all right and that's for one person and when that's not just is good night all right so there are more greetings on page number 12 we don't want to dwell on these greetings because they're really pretty basic and please go ahead on page 12 and you'll get more all right and the, the most catchiest word, Chessie, thank you. Uh, Bukutsu, the response to that, all right? Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, you're welcome, all right? Denada. Bukutsu. Um, quickly, Baosian, that's for sorry. Uh, or Tui Bukutsu. So, Tui Bukutsu. Tui Bukutsu. Sorry, all right? Lo siento. Um, these are also used when somebody want to get attention, all right? So, they, they, you can also use Tui Bukutsu or Ting Wen, especially when you want to ask a question, all right? Page 13 is more on this, so we don't want to dwell much on them. But if you want to say, excuse me, or may I ask, oh, I'm sorry, uh, can I bother you a little bit? That, that's, those are the kind of words that you will use, all right? Um, just so I don't understand why my slide is a little bit bigger than the screen, all right? How do we scroll down? Let me try and figure this out because I think we have a little bit more in the bottom. Um, can we press page down? Okay, just a moment. Um, I was thinking it was going to be easier to get through this part, but looks like we are a little stuck on this one. Let's see how best we can scroll on it. Okay, if I press control and drag, no, that doesn't work. Okay, I wish my mouse had a scroller thing. Um, okay, this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to look at just, just briefly, I'm going to check behind this one and see if how many words were there, right? And then 
if we covered much of them we will not do much on it right let's see uh here we go okay so this is the slide where we are and okay this is the part that's failing to record because as you can see it went a little overboard okay but here are the words chung which is please and chung is please so it's powerful word right and try powerful word come in please sing jin it's short in chinese i like it powerful word siantante please sit down jing zuo okay so it's very short in chinese jing zuo okay so this q here is making this qi kind of sound all right jing zuo okay good so i think this is what we're missing we will we'll always use this trick you can come back to the slide whenever it's, it's over like the overshadow like that okay good let's go back um okay good um sometimes i also get a little bit of pen ah yes there it is <laughs> good i found it so was it I'm, I'm i'm actually intelligent sometimes and dumb sometimes <laughs> i kind of mix both um and i can be dumb a little bit more all right so don't worry if i mistake some of these things just remember i have low iq or shit or shit kind of have an r sound there i like that because this is the fourth tone so what should which means i am okay so you can use this when you want to say your name or should i'm gonna pick a lady name uh just for fun or she anna all right and you can also use it for your title all right it's soy something something uh soy doctor <sighs> doctor doctor okay i don't know how to pronounce that in spanish but i am a doctor or she doctor i am a student or she student all right i am and you say your name or she banda or she wang okay that's good and you can also use it to say your nationality all right washi mei guoren i am american okay so here on the nationalities and nations all of this is on page number 15 and 16 all right so if you want to dream more on nationalities how do you say i am from this country or lights um or washi mei guo mei guo is america mei guo guo is country right guo is country then person so you say your country and person country person may go then uh american okay uh if it's another country for example uh let's pick um, china Zhongguo Ren. that's that means a chinese person all right we're going to touch on that it's just right here all right so boy mm, look at that i'm i have foresight <laughs> i see things in advance um just joking i so that earlier okay so we go in um american all right so we, we're just gonna work with that but there are more on page 15 and 16 so i don't want to spoil that out for you but what i'm gonna touch on is this part here or lights may go so you can just say i am from this country so this time around you won't be using the whole phrase all right you just take this part here or lights may go this one i am from america you can't say all lights may go in that will be saying that will be like i am from american person <laughs> it won't make sense right so i'm from america me go and the end is there or if you want to use the da sometimes you find da and then if you want to use da then you remove the t okay so you could say or uh, uh, and then you put the name of the country over here or should may go like da ah but that's a little difficult right i prefer this one more lights may go nice cool let's skip on to this part where you want to ask a person which country are they from okay nishu and then mei go ren ma okay ma is a question particle nishu zhong go ren ma are you chinese are you still know? ah see simple right so substitute this zhong go ren which with every other nationality that you want <laughs> how cool is that now you can ask every person that you see which country they're from and um just so fun you can see somebody and ask them are you american are you um french using the same um structure sentence structure right cool okay um now let's move on just you remember we, we talk about j last time we said j means this okay just this is 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 sh. okay just Wada, wada. That means I. It belongs to me. Okay. Wada. Just you wada. So you can actually use this sentence for everything you want. 
这是我的 husband， 这是我的丈夫，这是我的儿子，这是我的手机 ，this is my phone， 这是我的 car， 这是 this is my car， 这是我的呃钱 ，this is my money，anything that belongs to you， right？ Um， you can use it like that。We will see how we can use it like when you share in a business card， OK？ 这是我的 ，and then you give it to them， OK？ Good。And your address, you can also write it down on the paper and say, "Just your order address," something like that. You know, anything you want. This is a very popular structure. So you, you like, you like to use the more. 我知道啊 ，this could be your response right now. 我知道 because you already get the hang of this whole stuff. You can say 我知道 which means lost. <laughs> lost. I like Spanish. This time, Spanish is winning. It's short and succinct. Look at that. Lost. 我知道 If you don't know, no sé. <laughs> Lovely. This is cool. Okay. Or 不知道 Okay. So what we simply add here is saying, "No sé." 我知道 "No sé." 我不 This part here is meaning "no." 不 "No." Or in English, it could be "Don't." Um, "Not" or "No" is the same with the "bu." 知道 Okay. 知道 You see, sounds like a "jr." Junior kind of 知道 Okay. 知道 Do you know this? 知道 And if you don't know, or 不知道 with pride. Even if you don't know stuff, you know, just you know, like hang your head up. 知道 I know. 不知道 I don't know. And you know what? The Chinese actually do this even when you're telling them something for the first time. All right. When they tell them, ah,、um, this works like this, like this, like this, and then、um, they're like, ah,、oh, 知道知道 It means I know, but it's more like ah, I get you now. Okay, so in colloquial it means I get you as well. Okay, so just remember that when you, the Chinese ask you something and then you speak to them and they go ah, ah, ji da, ji da, it doesn't mean like ah, I already knew already. Or <laughs> you wasting your time explaining to me, I knew it already. But it kind of means like ah, ah, get you now. Okay, ji da, ji da. Okay, nice. Let's move on. You live in ah, this is high frequency stuff because you want to know where a person live, right? Because you want to cultivate. Friendship. So, to the to reverse the end, ah,、uh, 你住财你 that's you, right? 住你 okay, 住 live reverse end 财啊，住 reverse end you live in. <laughs> It's the same structure in English and in Spanish, so we call this one a tie, right? Because we're using p words on each and every one. But if you want to ask, okay, you could just put a question mark right there. You just say, ah, you raise your voice. That's that works as well. Works at a time. But if you wanna ask using the word where, which is nali, nali is where, nali, donde, nali, donde, nali. Okay, it's not nali. It's nali. It's very important to go down a little bit because na means there, but na means where. <laughs> okay, so if you say you just say Nali, ah,、uh, that means ah、uh, you live over there, <laughs> but you want to keep it a question. So if because you don't know, right? You just say Nali, but you see, it's we it's already we already said you live in. So it, it, and remember, Thai can work for in, on, at. So in this instance, it works for at. Look how it changes. It's like come with us. Right now, it's just in. And now it's at. You 住在哪里 Where do you live? Or you live at where? <laughs> cool. I like it. You 会 Ah, this is very good. 会 This means you can. Okay. You have the ability. You have the the proficiency to do something. Okay. You 会说英文吗你会说英文吗英文英文你会说英文吗 I remember, ma is a question we touched on. Now, I'm ma again here with ma. <laughs> ah, so you know it's a question. Ah, nice. But why are we keeping on saying the same stuff? We already said it before.、Mm, maybe you're just joining us for the first time. How do you know? <laughs> And um, English. Okay. Um, 你会说英文吗<laughs> 你会说英文吗 Can you speak English? Okay. If you want to change, you can change this to any other language you like. Mm, I like that because he doesn't change everything. He just changes just the part where the word is used. Me, hey, so English, ma, which means do you speak English? Habla, you speak English? Habla, you speak Spanish? 
啊，你会说 Spanish 吗？啊、oh, ，Nice, cool. Okay, good. Let's move on. This is our last. Ah,、uh, not our last. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> This is、uh, one of our slides. I'm not sure which one, but I think we're almost done. Let's go. Quay, quay. This means expensive, honourable, right? Honourable. So family name. Ah,、uh, that's surname. Ah, look at that. This is a mistake. Okay, so this was supposed to be an X. All right, and this the character is correct, and this is correct as well. Okay, me. Wait, say what's your family name? What's your honourable surname? All right, why it's your honourable surname? Carlos to Apelido, Apelido, Apelido. Ah, Spanish will win on this one because he is Apelido. Hmm, it's kind of sound like something with. Jelly, make something like appetizer. I think <laughs> I'm hungry. You go and sing. Ah,、uh, this is how you ask a name to somebody whom you've met. Ah,、uh, you met Chinese and they are, you know, looking all honourable and all. Okay, if they are young, of course you can go and you you ask them. Oh, you see, say, who are you? Okay, let's jump there. This one here, because they use that a lot. I don't know why, but it's more colloquial with this one. You see, say, who are you? And then you say, ah,、oh, what's you? And then you say your name, right? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Ah, what's it? And then you, you say your name. Okay, so Shay, this Shay is who? Okay, who?、Uh, which I suppose is Kenan. Okay, who? Shay. Ah,、uh, this one here, and that's the character right there. Okay, 你是 you is who? 你是谁 Who are you? You is who? Okay, so this is one way, but this is more honourable, especially if you're out in the ministry and you're preaching out to the Chinese. You don't want to ask, ah, you just say, <laughs> "Who are you?" Okay, you want to ask, ah, you go and say, "What's your expensive surname?" Please tell me your expensive surname, and they will say, "Ah, I'm Xin, I'm Xin." This, this is how they will respond to you. I'm Xin, my on surname. Okay, and they will also use another one, which is not Wei, which is like my humble surname. They kind of you know play it down for you. So very humble people, the Chinese. Nice. I like how they treat that.、Uh, they work that way around that one. Okay, nice, cool. Now let's go on. Um, my screen kind of dim because it's now dark. So there's this eye protection kind of mechanism that they set it up for. <laughs> so I hope that doesn't affect your view too, since we're recording the screen. Okay, but now that we've got that out, let's go. Ching, you remember Ching? We said this before. It means. Ah,、uh, you expect me to tell it to you? No, I'm not going to tell it to you. Ching, okay, Papa, Papa Vara, Papa Vara, <laughs> Papa Vara. Please, all right, Ching, all right. And you can use Ching in every every instance that you remember when you wanna、uh, let somebody come、uh, come in. You can just open the door and say Ching, please, and then you point them to come in. You want them to sit. You just you know point at the chair and say Ching, and then they know. Ah,、oh, you want them to sit.、Mm, nice. So Ching Tai, you remember Tai? Ah,、uh, this one here. Tai, we said it's again. So we say Tai Jian. We'll see you again, Tai Jian. And we say we say the same thing with Suo. Suo is to speak. All right, Habla, Habla, speak. Suo. All right, Tai Suo. Ah,、uh, I mean say it again or repeat that. Ah,、uh, repeat that also. Ching Tai Suo, por favor. Ching Tai Suo. Repeat that as well. Repeat that, all right? Please repeat. Um, there's another one that, that they say, but it's too long, so I will just skip it. We'll go with this one. But I know you are curious which one is the longer one. Okay, so go on page number twenty-one in the book. You will find more. Okay, good for free. <laughs> so that's the best part. And let's talk about understanding. Hmm, understanding. It's difficult when the teacher doesn't understand me. I was trying to explain it to the kids so they can understand. <laughs> Let's see how this works. I understand. Entiendo. Did you understand? Entendiste? Hmm. <laughs> this is close to English. I didn't get that. Understand. Entiendo. Understand. Did you understand? Entendiste? Okay. So we have two words for understand in Chinese. We have dong. Dong. You see, it goes down and up. Dong.、Mm -hmm. Cool sounds there. And we have Ming Bai. Ming Bai. So Wu Dong, I understand. I can say Wu Ming Bai. It's also the same. Here we say Ni Ming Bai Le Ma. Ming Bai Le Ma. You see the Ma it means it's a question. Ming Bai Le Ma. And your answer, if you understand, you can say Ming Bai. 
If you don't understand, you remember the word for no. Boom, booming by. And you and you don't. If you don't understand, remember. Hey, hold your head high, keep your pride high, and you go booming by <laughs> with pride. Booming by. I don't understand. Mm, what you saying? What don't I understand? Well, boo dong, I don't understand. You simply add the boo again. Or mean by. Or boo mean by. Hmm, I don't understand. Okay, cool. So we have two ways. So remember, if somebody asks you, do you understand? <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, we, we did this one. We touched on say. We said it's who. Na. Remember, we said na. There is na, which is where. And na, which is that. Or so there. So that's one here. I think I will touch on this one. <laughs> I'll say this one. That uh, na essay. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm pointing at the wrong one. No, I'm not a sorry speaker. Mm, but if it's it's a little poison, don't worry, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> so no overdose there. Now say who is that? Now say who is that? Hmm? And then you say, ah, that's my girlfriend. That's my uh, boyfriend. That's my teacher. Ah, I see. Good. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you see this one. This one causes controversy sometimes because, it, you know, it kind of sounds like nigga or something, you know, the same word. So people don't really want to use it. And I, I remember reading last week about a professor who was under fire for using that as a filler. Because sometimes the Chinese do that, uh, nega, 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 um, you know, and they're forgetting something. They say, nega, 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 uh, that kind of thing. So anyway, um, nega. It will just point you to the person uh, or even something. It could you could use it for anything. Like if you point it at something or you or someone, uh what's that what is that called? Or what is uh what is he called or what is she called? <laughs> because it's just that called what? That's the uh I think the Spanish did well there. Como se llama eso? Because this is just that like name, right? Llama? I believe so. Ah, cool. So, okay. Uh, just be careful when you use this one, this filler, because you know, if you if you if you're not really careful, like I mentioned, it can sound uh something else which is offensive to other people, but not to me. Narcissism. <laughs> Narcissism. Again, it's the same thing, right? Is. Should. Now, that. Okay. I pointed at. I said last time I'm gonna put an S of this time. <laughs> now, si, si, ma, it's what, okay? That is what. Or what is that? Ah, cool. Uh, I like how they twist it. It's like a remix of Chinese. What is that? Ah, uh, actually the Chinese go, that is what, and the English go, what is that? <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, what is that? That is what? Now, si, si, ma, what is that? Que eso, que es 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 eso. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's, uh, so you see what we're doing here, we're just simply touching on how you ask questions. If you're not, if you're not following, let me just bring it up back to you, okay? Real more serious this time. We touched on who, say, quien, right? We touched on what, se ma, uh, como, se, I think that's okay, so I think, que, yeah, that is, que, what, que, and uh, we also ask how something is called. We also ask how to ask a name. Somebody make somebody repeat. All good. So we most of times most of these questions, right? Now what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go back to our slide. I think we're on the third one because as you saw, there was some overlapping stuff. Okay, yeah, there we are. This is the part that was overlapping. Sama si ho, woman. Okay, so we're still asking questions. You see that because questions are really important when controlling the dialogue. If you do, if they respond something you don't understand, you ask another question and pretend as if okay you already understood on one <laughs> That's what I do, and uh, it's a past old tradition. My teacher also taught me the same thing. <laughs> okay, so uh, the legacy lives on. Now let's look at this word right here. Semasu ho. Uh, semasu ho means when or what time. All right. Sema we said it's what. Si ho is time. Woman, that's we or us. Okay, so we say we. What time go? Woman, semasu ho. Two, 
uh, what time do we go, right? When do you want to go? You ask Thai. Nah, Thai nah, it where? Thai nah, it where? Okay. Um. Okay, this is one of one of the ways uh, of the one of the translation. But again, remember we said nah means where. So if your construction starts with dash 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 Thai nah, we simply say. Donde esta dish dish dish. So you put the place over here, all right? If the place or the person, if you like. Where is Peter? Peter, China. If you want to ask about the, a town or a place, you say London, China. And then you're asking, where is London? Okay. So this is the same construction that we will use, right? Uh, China. Uh, where is? So it could be your pen or something that you're looking for. You can also use the same construction. Where is my pen? My pen, China. All right. Good. Uh, where is Shema? This is one person that we didn't really touch on, but way it means for, and Shema means what? So for what? Way Shema. All right. I want to go to town for what? Way Shema. All right. That's why. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, now that we covered these questions, I think you cannot, you know, be able to get as much dialogues as you like. Now let's move into our next slide, which will be, uh, asking how much it is, how much it is. Okay. Again, you said, she sounds like she okay so qian that's money duo shao duo is many shao is few so many few money duo shao is it many or few okay how much money do you want duo shao qian quanto es oh quanto es all right and duo as you said many zhu has to do with time so for how long duo zhu right ni you cai at or in turn like here Dozu, how long have you been here okay for how long Dozu, you can use it any any way you like but just remember this has to do with how long i think i said for how long which has to do with for quanto tiempo it, i think it makes sense because it's not how long as in length of something like height but length of time so for quanto tiempo for how long okay more on page 26 so please go ahead and open page number 26 and you'll find more details on how to use do to do so in in all other but a whole bunch of other questions good now remember boo you said boo say it means no i uh, don't right don't or no okay so boo si huan, si huan is the word to like or boo si huan, i don't like no, me gusta esto or eso. All right. I don't like who si huan or who si huan. So we left out wo. We could put wo at the front as a pronoun. Wo bu si huan. I don't like. Ni bu si huan. You don't like. Tamen bu si huan. They don't like. Okay. So you can use anything as long as you will use the correct verb. Bu si huan. Si goes down and up. Si huan. To like. Okay. Um. Ah, our best friend Ching is back. Ching means pa favor, pa favor. They may, they may, they may tell me, right? They may tell me. Um, is it they may or them? <laughs> Please tell me. Ching gao su wo. Again, wo, that's I, right? Or me. So, Ching gao su, gao su to tell. Ching gao su wo. Ah, nice. Ching gao su wo. Don't so chen. Please tell me how much money. Ching gao su wo. Ni chai zhe li duo zhu la. How, how long have you been here? 请告诉我, 你叫什么? Please tell me, what's your name? Mm, cool. These are high frequency phrases you can use at any, any time. Okay, now we're back to 这是我的. This is my. 这是我的名片. So, 名, you remember 名, we said 名, means name. And 片 is there, like a flat kind of thing. So, 名片, no doubt, is a name card or a business card, right? I don't know if this is correct because I saw it was saying uh, something else that I didn't really think was the correct translation. But in English, this will be business card. In your name card will be a business card, right? And uh, this is the rest of the stuff where in Spanish I'm not sure what it means. But for fun, I'm going to read it for you. Esta es mi tarjeta de negocio. 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 de negocio. Tarjeta de negocio. It's like they're trying to negotiate something. I'm not sure what it is. But maybe if they give you a business card, they're going to negotiate some work from you. All right. Zhu Yang. Zhu Yang. Ah, Zhu Yang. But, you know, because they're 
see second third tone th third tones that one becomes a second tone so this must be like two yang two yang which means um i'm pleased to meet you um we should also add at last all right i'm pleased to meet you at last because zhu yang is not is different from i'm very happy to meet you this is more like zhu uh, is for time you remember we said zhu this one here at the top over here over here i see you're not seen here over here we're here okay good uh zhu that's has to do with time like no long time so i've heard about you before but i never met you so finally meeting you i'm very pleased to meet you so that's kind of the translation that we're looking for with jiu yang okay so use it when you have heard about somebody and meeting them for the first time or finally meeting them mm, sounds like a blind date <laughs> okay cool uh jihunda ah nice look at that look where that leads i didn't plan that but it kind of goes for mm, i can break sometimes mm, look at that yeah See, hun, it means to marry or get married, right? La, is this has the particle like it's already happened. Ji hun la means I'm married, okay? We keep put wo, ji hun la, I am married. Ni ji hun la, uh, or ta ji hun la, estoy casado, okay? Soy soltero, I'm single. Mei ji hun la, you remember mei? Mei is, is a good friend of bu, they walk hand in hand. So there are times when bu, which is don't or not, it comes into play and may comes into play where something has a possibility of happening right i haven't got married but i can get married if i want to okay or may i haven't got married yet but i can get married if i so ever want to okay may uh or even if you want to ask somebody have you been to another place like have you been to this place before and then they can say may uh i i haven't been there but well, there's a possibility that I can go there, okay? But if you say, but that means you're saying, don't marry. <laughs> I don't know why you would say somebody don't marry, okay? But if you want to read more on this and other phrases that are related, please go on to page number 32. Look at that. We started on page 26 and you're on page 32 in one slide. Man, we're crazy. Okay, let's see what comes up. Okay, this is more. I hope this will be our last slide, okay? Because I'm already feeling tired. But let's look at it. What Buneng like, um, as you can see, uh, this one here is called uh, the ability. Neng means to to be able, okay? Like to, it's, it's like can, okay? Buneng lai, I'm not able. Bu neng, uh, I'm not able. And lai, like the English word for lai, that means come, okay? So that's the same word we use here. I um, cannot come. Bunning lie, no puedo venir. Okay, or mean tien lie. Look at that lie doesn't change. If I can't come, it's lie. If I will come, it's lie. The verb won't change. That's why I like about Chinese. You can just put the time, okay, or mean tien. I tomorrow come, <laughs> I will come tomorrow. So there's no need for will in Chinese. You just go. Okay, I think Spanish is also kind of coming out closer. Okay, page 36 for more. Okay, we're just going to skip this part. part. Ah, the bathroom. Hmm, this is very, very important. I do. This was supposed to be our first sentence, but anyway, here it is, finally. That's the loo, right? The bathroom. I think it's this word here. Inodoro. Inodoro. <laughs> L inodoro. I think I should put the L as well. L inodoro. And you kind of nail too because I see the O there. Um, and in my language, my mother tongue, doro is actually a sarin is doro, which means beer. Tell us what I know. I can't, I'm not sure how to, to translate this one. Anyone have an idea? What does China mean? keep forgetting okay mm. let's see if we can get a clue China. what does that mean oh yeah there it is Tai. Tai Nali. Oh, you see it's the same thing so you can say Tai Nali, or you can say China okay still the same thing where is or don't start okay say so China where is the toilet don't start or in the door okay or 
A is to feel hungry. I am hungry. A. A. Just that part there. The A means hungry. Mm -hmm. Hungry. Hungry and hungry. Hungry and hungry. Hungry and hungry. Hungry hungry. Hungry hungry. So all A la. A la. That's I am hungry. And this is a particle that means it's a particle that shows that it's completed. That like it's happening. I am hungry. I need to eat right away. Okay. So now let's talk about food. You want to eat to to eat shema what right that's the okay what what do you want to eat comer eat to shirang shang is to want want ni xiang zi shema ni xiang zi shema okay what do you want to eat and then chu qi fan chu to go qi fan eat food let's go eat vamos a comer let's go eat woman we to see fun okay so you can use this every time you want to invite people to something woman to and then the activity woman to watch a movie woman to play ball woman to everything that you want to do it's all in that sentence construction uh if you want to ask where can we go eat okay let's continue with this conversation woman to nali she okay the verb to eat comes after so we can have subject verb uh object and verb again. Woman to nali to we go where eat. Woman to nali eat. Which translate? Where shall we go to eat? Don't you know? Shall come here. And woman she must again see fun. She must again she again is time. Or you could use she ho right? Woman she must ho. We used when last time. She must ho. So this was like what time? She must again. Uh, or you could go with she must ho. Alright. Okay, hora comemos. Was mas ho tifan. You remember tifan to eat food, right? Ni shan ti sema what you want to eat. O men tu tifan, na this food and then uh sema si ho tifan. Okay, good. And because we have an overlap, let's see. Ni tai xian. Okay, we're now on talking about some things that have to do with online. Let's go to our original slide for this. I have two keyboards, so the other one doesn't work. I keep pressing it, but it doesn't respond. Okay, there we go. This one here, this is where we are. Uh, tai xian. Xian means online. Or tai xian, I ate online. So, ni tai xian ma, are you online? Bu tai, not on, not at. So, bu tai xian, offline, right? Um, so, are you online? Ni tai xian ma, if you are, you say, bu tai xian. If you're offline, you say "bu zai xian." Good. And the other one is Twitter. Twitter. They have Twitter. Twitter. Okay. These are on page one one three. If you want to ask about QQ, WeChat, and other platforms online, ni yo, you always do have, right? Ni yo. If you have, you say "wo yo." If you don't have, you remember "mei yo." Okay, "mei" because you can have. You can't say "bu yo" <laughs> because some, there's a possibility that you can have. Okay. Wonderful. And finally, let's look at our last slide, which is the million dollar one, the assignment. So this is the second assignment of the week. Using the slides above and the dialogues from the two previous weeks, create your own customized dialogues. And hint, you can pretend you are meeting for the first time and ask for details and arrange to go hang out. And remember, we shared about our business cards, uh, your honorable surname, your name, where do you live, and, and Let's go eat. We and we also talk about Jehun, Mayo Jehun. So you can create a sequel story which adds on to your previous dialogue and incorporate new words to your vocabulary. Mm, sounds nice. And if you want to hear that in Spanish, I uh, will try and read it out to you. Because if you want to know what you want to do, you can put it in the materials. Jesus, per Dios, le haga los perecedores de Dios. Se creencia, perete, que tenga de que vivir en por primera vez para que él tenga su tercera haga los perecedores. O que es una concepción de la historia que se agregó a su diálogo anterior y comprar el lugar para hablar su vocabulario. Good. I had to read it in, Sp in Spanish as well because, you know, I'm, um, I have to justify my pay, right? I'm getting paid for you. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but my teacher always said that he had to add more stuff to justify justify his salary. So I kind of borrowed that faith name. But anyway, how this is where we are. And if you made it this far, please text me his code. Um, I just want to know how many of you watch the whole video. Okay, so 
uh, please text me this code and I will also text you something back in return, right? Uh, little token of appreciation that you following up. You're one of the best students who are really serious and keen on learning Chinese. Okay, so hasta mañana, hasta pronto, 再见。